people. This topic again is embarrassing, disgraceful for me. Simply because I play a part of it. I definitely play a part of this topic too. celebrating the Magal Tuba and we're gonna do the update of what's happening you know 
Jamungen panan, jamungen panan. I want to play some Maga vibes still celebrating the Maga Tuba. Assalamu alaikum Boki Juliti. Assalamu alaikum Badi Mandi Kol. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are gonna speak in three languages. What's the first one again? Anglas, Wolof, and Mandinka will be the last one, inshallah, to try. And fit in all in one video that hopefully not gonna take 10 hours hope so so we're gonna update that's gonna be a quiet affair that has been happening that's why about the gay Zimbabwean woman that slept with the 20 year old Gambian guy on a live video we're gonna be updating his interview with Barbaja what he said and what other people say in other videos that knows the story and my thought about it Ha! Huh. How can I say all that in three languages? Anyway, we shall see. Welcome. Take your cup of tea, coffee, or plate of food, or better, just drink water if you're vegan or healthier than Amijo. Depend on when you're watching this video, if you're hungry or not. Either way, relax, like the video, share, comment. If you want to sponsor my channel, <laughs> Don't worry if you don't have money to send me or you can't be bothered sending me any money. Hey, you can do something easy, free. All you're going to do is watch my videos and try to watch my ad, you know? <laughs> even if you don't watch all of them, even if you watch one or two ads until the end. And you know, at the end, they're going to tell you, click here to get to whatever they're trying to sell you. <sighs> Companies. You might just want to click it, even if you don't go as far as subscribing to whatever. If you click it, they will know you click it. And they're going to give me little tiny pennies, you know. If a couple of you click it, I would appreciate that. God will bless you, you know. So, yeah, let's jog on to this topic, shall we? <laughs> Let me sip into my, um, I'm drinking raspberry tea. I'm drinking raspberry tea, people. So yeah, let's jog on to this topic. So yeah, let's jog on to this topic. Hmm. People, this topic again is embarrassing, disgraceful for me. Simply because I play a part of it. I definitely play a part of this topic too. Again, one of those things that we, we are fighting, you know, let's come to our culture. One of those things that we are fighting, the self-dignity, the self-what, the self-love that we are lacking. Our culture is not very good. Our culture didn't did well when it comes to teaching us self-dignity and self-worth. Not all of us, so don't freak out yet. Some people are lucky they come from such a home. A lot of us don't. It's a lot of reason why we don't have the self-love and self-dignity. It's a, so many things that our culture is doing that feeling us, you know? that making us lead to all this. It's not just because Africa don't have good president and Africa is poor, no, it's beyond that. We also lacking self-love and self-dignity. You can see it all over us. 
from the way we dress to certain decisions that we take. It took me so long to figure out that it was lack of self-love and self-dignity and self-value. And I'm praying for all of us that is still lacking it to recover it by yourself. Because you're going to have to do it by yourself. It's too late for any parents to reparent you again to teach you these things. You know it as an adult. It's all over the place. You're just ignoring it. Don't risk it all for a basket, please. It's not worth it. Ha! <sighs> God. Subhanallah. You know, our culture is easy. We're just ignoring it. Hoping to change. Hoping to get better. Hoping to get what we want and then we change. You never really get what you want in life. Human beings are greedy. You know, when I did like what this guy is trying to do, to marry to an older man who I didn't really love, but I agreed to marry him because he was showing me love. And the other thing that was more important than the love was me getting to Scotland, of course. Let's be real. I regret it. Not just the old man was not good to me after he brought me here. Even in Gambia, he was showing me who he is, to be honest. But it was also just the embarrassment of even walking with him in the street, people looking at us, and just the embarrassment of him abusing me and calling me name. The embarrassment of me knowing that after I've been through all these child marriages that I don't love the people. Still, as a young adult, I was 24. I have to put myself in another child arranged marriage that I don't love the person that I put myself in just because of I want to get to Scotland. And when I got here, guess what? I still didn't get what I want. I get nothing. There's nothing here. You walk, you pay bills, you send money. Fairness, you get nothing left, especially when you come from a poor family. Unless you don't send them money, they're all going to be calling you. From your own parents to sisters, even brother, even cousins, aunties, uncles. Everyone is having malaria. Everyone is dying. The chicken is sick. The horse is pregnant. Your cousin is dying. That the hospital we don't have no money to pay the bills your nieces your nephews ah they have no money to pay school fees ah okay they will just stay here and be useless when they grow up like you no school fees and you keep feeling sorry and keep sending 24 hours so you will live here forever and you will not have nothing depend what kind of job you do if you are lucky you will have a good decent job if you are not lucky you have to do dirty job disgusting job to make money I'm not saying dirty job like cleaning toilet or working in a nursing home. I've done that. That's not dirty job. That's clean job. It's just a little harder than sitting in an office maybe. Depend what office you're sitting, to be honest. Some office jobs are, what's the English word? Draining. Looking at the walls and everybody in the office is miserable. I'm not saying that office job. I mean nice, fancy office job that you're in a hurry to go to work, you know, with your high heels. Jokes aside. Over the years of living here, I realized that I still don't get what I want. The reason why I came here. I don't get nothing. Then it's up to me to continue being greedy and sell my dignity. And do like I see some people doing, especially single mothers. It's not all. You have decent single mothers all over the world. But you have some single mothers all over the world or just single women all over the world that will sell their dignity for money. When I say that, you know what I mean. I don't have to say the whole thing. Then I still have to choose to continue selling my dignity. Now that I sell my dignity and get to Scotland, I have to sell my dignity again to get the money that I come here for after I realize that it's not easy to get the money. Or I have to reclaim my dignity and remain poor until whenever. But what is poverty? I have to thank God for one thing. So many things, by the way, but this particular thing one day, this particular thing, sorry, that I'm going to be talking about, that although I wish to have a better life growing up with no school, no money, pure poverty and just suffering, child marriages and so many pain, I was wishing to have a better life and to have a good man who loved me and we stay together and be happy. 
but I was lucky. I never like I wanna have a nice big house, nice big car, and, you know, like be to be rich and be respected or be whatever or experience what it's like to be rich. Maybe that's why I managed to reclaim myself after I got here and find out I'm still poor. The reality is what I'm trying to say is in life you don't have nothing if you don't have self dignity. If you love yourself, that is, which a lot of us are lacking. I don't see how you can love money and vanity than yourself do. That is our problem and the problem of a lot of the people in this world. If you love money more than yourself, no matter how much money you have, you will not be happy. That's why a lot of celebrities and people who have money are on drugs, depressed, taking tablets, they don't care about their houses and their cars. They still ask, miserable as worse than the, worse than, I keep, I always say worse than, sorry, my English, worse than the poor person. And you go to Africa and all these other poor countries, you see people have nothing. And they sit under the mango tree so happy. Not even a bed or not even a proper bed. If you have self-love, and you believe in God, if you have any God, you appreciate nature, you appreciate your life. You appreciate the little things in life. Until you do that, you cannot be happy. No matter how much of your dignity you sell for nothing, for everything. If you sell everything for everything, and you have everything, you're still not going to have nothing. Which is happiness. If you don't have happiness, you don't have nothing. We all want money. Doesn't matter what country we are from. A lot of us do. Not all, but a lot of us do. And this money don't give us peace. All over the world. People have money. If you know what they're going through, you will stop wishing for their life. Money is so addictive. Money and wealth. The more you have, the more you want. The more you are afraid to fall for people to look at you and say that, is that not Amy who was the millionaire two years ago? And then you keep craving for more and you keep risking it all and you might even do it the wrong way with majority of the people that have money are doing it the wrong way even if they own companies they're still doing it the wrong way majority of them you don't want to know how they're making their money what's behind the company the dark secret behind how they're making their money you know i'm not saying don't look for money too much we all come to this world Different reason, different way of living. But all I'm saying is, don't risk it all for a basket, please. It's not worth it. The money is always the basket. It doesn't seem like it. But it is. Do you know how many people die because of money? Even you can have a nice car and you're not safe. Someone can rob you and suit you just because of a car. A car that you work hard for and bought it. Someone can come into your home just because you have a nice home and rob you and kill you and take your home or take your jewelry or whatever. Or even if they don't get nothing, they walk away. Did you not die just because of your own money that you work hard for? Am I saying don't look for money? No. Hell no. Do you know how many people die from the wrong places that they're looking for money from? And they die trying to get money. Do you know how many people are miserable because of money? Do you know how many people have good, loving, caring relationship with their partner? Now because they have money, everything went ruined. Do you know how many people lose their life or ruin their life because they're looking for money the wrong way? Or even sometimes you look for it the right way and you get it and your life can still be ruined. Am I saying don't look for money? No. But when you come from a society like mine, which majority of the people are extremely poor, and can risk it all for a basket, it's time to tell us that we don't have to risk it all for a basket. Although I've been saying this so many times, I have to say it again in a different way today. Why I'm saying all this before I even start telling you what happened is, this quiet affair I, I explained in English not long ago, and I've been talking about it in my language for the last couple of days is, a Gambian 20 year old man who went with a, 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 a transgender Zimbabwean woman in Sweden on a Facebook Live and they did the thing on Facebook Live. They had sex. Yeah, the video is still on. I'm not going to post it here and I'm not going to post the person name because if you go and watch it, then Allah is going to 
in Muslim, you're not allowed to send somebody this kind of thing, especially sending it to the face, to the YouTube for a lot of people to watch. This is why I don't want to put this transgender name. And even the guy, I don't want to put his name too. Because he's claiming now that, you know, that he doesn't want to be in the media and that his mom want to commit, want to have a heart attack when, he, when she find out these things and stuff. You know, just because in our community, this is a big thing. For someone to be gay or not to mess on having sex with a transgender on a Facebook live. And this is seeming because this guy did this and then after he had, a, he had an interview yesterday in his language with another YouTuber from Gambia and he speak in Mandika in the interview denying everything, saying that this woman was drugging him, this transgender was drugging him, this transgender drug him, that's why he did it, he didn't know what he was doing. But even the way he explained the thing, you will know that he's lying, no one drugged him. But this is just beyond sad, simply because, not because it's embarrassing for the Gambian community, we've never seen this and we are very small population and we already, our name is already ruined because of the, 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 the news, the news is talking about sex tourism in Gambia and stuff. Gambia have sex tourism like many other countries, but the way Gambia is so small and the way the media is talking about it is making it worse. Because when you talk, anytime you talk about it, one pedophile or one person who was thinking the way to go for sex tourism will now book Gambia next tourist, next, next, next destination. But that's not all why that this is sad for our community. It's also sad for the fact that after this whole thing happened, then us are living abroad and the whole thing now come out and plus his interview and plus other people who knew him talking in other videos, making it clear that this guy was looking for paper. He was doing all this just to get a visa. Why I'm saying this is for us to stop risking it all for a basket. I'm sorry, but I have to say this because I cannot continue watching all. Like I said, I contribute in this too, but I regret my part for marrying somebody who I didn't love and agree to marry him. Although I've been through a lot of child marriages growing up with people that I don't love that was arranged. I still didn't learn my self-dignity and self-worth to, to reject, to not allow that to happen then. But I'm so proud that I keep seeing this, that it's not good for us to continue doing it. And I saved a couple of people from doing this. So as much as it's embarrassing, I'm going to continue saying this. And I know a lot of you people, especially the you in Africa or you are here and don't have the right documents yet. You're going to think after you already have your document, now you are saying this. No. If you watch my videos and you know human beings very well, you will know that my videos don't mean any harm. Look, it's better I stop us from doing this now, even if it's my sister or cousin who want to do it next, hmm? than continuing to, this, to, to, to encourage it. You know why? The more you lose your dignity to get what you want, the more you continue losing your dignity to get what you want until you reclaim yourself. And it's very hard to reclaim yourself. I'm very lucky with this. I have to thank God, Alhamdulillah. When you marry to these people that you don't love, not just you're refusing yourself to sleep with them, which is not fair after they marry you, you cannot sleep with them. But if you look at it, these people know that these people don't love them, especially people that marry older people that are way younger than them, like my, 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 my story. But although they know that these people don't love them, we still should know how to protect ourselves because we are the young one here. But because we lack the self-dignity and self-worth and self just to know who you are and have boundaries, where to stop. Hmm? That's why we can risk it all for a basket. And until we come and tell our youth that they cannot risk it all for a basket, they're going to continue risking it all for a basket. And it's not worth it. This man went and did this with this transgender guy. So he can use those videos as a evidence to claim to get the asylum to say that when he go back to his country, they will not allow him to stay there because now they don't like him because he did this. Nobody will do him nothing when he go back to his country. They will laugh at him, that they will do because they're not used to this. It might be hard for him get, to get a wife unless somebody really love him. 
but to kill him, no one will kill him. Especially when he already denied and said that the person drugged him. How can the person drugged him that he said he said in the video that he doesn't know what he was doing when, when that person was going on, on Facebook Live where, while they're having sex, before they have sex and during the sex in the Facebook Live were on was on. He didn't know what was what was happening, he said. Until the next day, that's when he knew what happened, he said. But during the Facebook Live, he was saying that, oh, we're having a lot of views. You have a lot of viewers. And the person was questioning him about Gambia and, you know, telling him to even speak some Gambian language. And he, he said wall of, some wall of word. But he's Mandinka and he says some wall of word. And some people don't like that. They're saying that he was trying to make it like it's a wall of thing. Who cares if he speaks wall of or Mandinka? He can speak proper Mandinka. I think he's Mandinka just because he did the interview in Mandinka. But he, he can be speaking Mandinka and he's not Mandinka. He can be speaking Wolof and he's not Wolof. Does it matter if he's Mandinka or Wolof or Fuller or whatever? Does it matter if even if he was Gambia or Gambian or not Gambian? This is seeming for anybody. For any 20-year-old, a handsome-looking 20-year-old, tall, handsome young man to be doing like this, going on Facebook Live to do sex. I don't care if you're doing it with a woman or a man. Just in the name of visa. And people going to have those videos for good. And you program it, you know it, you plan it all just for the name of visa. It's not worth it. Please, let's stop risking it all for a basket. Let's tell our young people how hard this country is. The reality of living in these countries. How you're going to be stuck here for years working and sending money. And you can never make it the way you want. Until you stop sending money, which is very hard to do, especially when you come from poor family. Or you can get a good job. If you are not lucky, that's very hard to get a good job as a foreign person. Especially if you are like me, grow up, no school, nothing. And you come here as a single mother. It's hard to get a wage. It's enough, enough job with a good wage that you're going to pay your rent. And you're going to send money to Africa. And you're going to have food money and buying the children's stuff money. And you have money left that you're going to save to build a nice house in Gambia. So you can go back home. So then you're just going to remain here hoping and dreaming forever. And it's not easy to live in a foreign land. All foreign land have racism. Even Africa do. There's nothing like home. It's not easy to live in a foreign land. A country with different kind of food, different kind of culture. A country who don't even believe in God, especially when you believe in God. It's very hard. You look at people disrespecting your God and you can't do nothing. They have different culture that you don't want your children to do. It's a war. It's not easy, people. It's not worth it. And people in Africa fighting over you because now they think you have money. If you buy a house there, they're fighting over your house too. It's not worth it, people. I'm not saying don't come here. But try to come the correct way. Don't risk it all for a basket. And if you are here and you don't have the right visa, please don't go on Facebook like having sex just so you can have visa. Because if we don't condemn this now, this is going to be a new thing. That's why I'm doing this video. I feel bad. But if I don't see it, it's going to be a new thing. Everybody's going to do it just to use it to have visa. Please. The immigration knows all what we are doing to have visa. They're not stupid. That's why they're rejecting us a lot. But this way is too dirty to continue. Just because we're African. We cannot come to Facebook like having sex. I don't know why Facebook allowed that video and the video is still on. We cannot continue this. The white people and the other people laughing at us just because we're African doesn't mean that we're not human and we don't have no dignity. We can learn it. Please, people. We cannot continue this. We cannot. I cannot watch it any longer. We cannot. Marrying someone you don't love is enough to get a visa. That's bad enough. Because even in Africa, that's happening. They give you people that you don't love from a young age. It's in our culture. We don't see it as bad as we are seeing it now, someone like me. It's still happening in my country. They're giving children to people they don't know. So you don't know that it's bad. But marrying someone, uh, having sex with someone on Facebook Live, that's beyond. Just so you can use that to say that when I go back to my country, they will kill me. I cannot go back now. Look at what I did. No, come on, people. This is going to be the first and last for this place. I don't care what culture you're from. 
please, the visa is not worth it. I have the visa from day one I arrived in this country. And I am here for 14 years and I still have nothing. It's like I just arrived in the country. I have my children and I have a roof over me. That's all. I don't even have a nice big house. I don't have a car. I don't have a nice expensive bed. Nice nothing. I still send every little penny I have until I can't buy milk. Because I come from poverty. And I'm still wanting to go home so much. But I'm scared. Thinking should I stay here and let my children finish school or not. I'm scared for my daughter's future when I just go back now. Because of the child marriage I've been through in Africa. And how I suffer there so much. And still suffering. I don't want to cry in this video. <sighs> Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Sorry, people. Sometimes when I talk about my culture and what I've been through in my culture, you cannot help but getting emotional. And this really damaged my, uh, did a lot of damage, a lot of harm to my videos over the years. I talk with emotion, so I use a lot of languages that I shouldn't use, that I wish I don't use. But I pray that I'm going to get better as I work on my self-healing and self-growth journey. It's getting there. Hopefully, I will be able to... I will get to a place that I will definitely watch my language that I use in my videos and just learn how to handle the emotions that I'm not going to cry or feel emotion. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But, inshallah, I believe in life. Everything is possible. But... People, our community is wonderful, beautiful, rich with beautiful culture. As much as it has that, it also has a lot of damaging things that no one is going to talk about. Because to talk about it, you don't just talk about it. You also talk about your own experience, why you have to talk about it. For people to know how real this is. But not just they're going to use that to insult you with it after they know what you've been through. They also going to run away from you and stay away from you, thinking something is wrong with you, you know, for going through whatever you go through in the community, which is even worse. Like someone like me or someone like this guy, people will say, now he's gay, let's run away from him. This is why I tell our people that before you go into being gay or, being, or doing anything, you have to watch it. Because people will run away from you. And that's the reality with our community. This is why I don't have a lot of people that, pardon me, that like me in my community. Because I don't tell my community things that is not going to happen. Like, I try to tell our, my community who we are, like, as raw as possible. You know, like, the raw truth I know about our community. Our community will run away from you after they know that you're traumatized by something or something. And our community will also run away from you when you involve with certain life behavior. So you have to really watch it before you involve with it just because of money. Watch it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This community that you're trying to work so hard to have some money so they can respect you. They will never respect you even if you have the money. Majority of the respect they give you is fake. It's just because they want something from you. That's all. When you have nothing, they don't care about you. So why do you have to risk it all to have something so that you can earn their respect? You earn your own respect. Learn how to love yourself, respect yourself, value yourself, know who you are, know yourself what, have self boundaries, have life boundaries. That's when you will love yourself more, appreciate nature, claim pure happiness. But trying to earn some money and some houses, so people can respect you. It's not going to give you any respect. That's fake respect. For example, now, when I, for example, if I was buying the lottery and I win the lottery, people start respecting me. I will laugh because I know already who respect me with me having nothing now. So if you want to respect me from nowhere because Ami won the lottery and now she live in a mansion or Ami is now a celebrity and driving nice cars, I don't want that respect and I will not care about your respect at all. Please, people, 
especially the young people. You are why I'm talking. A lot of people with my age, they're still doing all the wrong thing for money, but it's not many. But some of you 20 year olds, 30 year olds are brought here. Come on, people. It's not worth it. How many of you in prison because you're risking it all for a basket? How many of you are going to continue selling your dignity, man or woman? It's not worth it. If you don't have your self-dignity, I'm repeating this, you're not going to have nothing because you know that you yourself deserve better. So you're hurting inside. Drugs and alcohol is also, is also not going to give you happiness. Don't even bother. You miserable your life and you run to drug and alcohol to be happy. Ooh, you're going to be more miserable. Don't even bother. Quit them all. Reclaim your pure happiness. I'm going to do a video about that soon. Anyway, I'm going to try to see if I can speak in Wolof. I don't think I can speak in Wolof now, to be honest. This video is going to be too long. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I cannot speak in Wolof or Mandinka. I promise you guys already. Hell, I will just speak a little bit. <laughs> I will just quickly too, because I promised you guys already, but I couldn't be bothered continuing because I don't want to continue getting emotional and I spent too long to speak this in English. I know it was going to be hard because this is not just a topic that I can jump in. My videos are not top, something that I can just jump in and done, obviously, because, you know. But anyway, I'll try to just speak a little bit in Wolof and Mandinka because I promised them already, but I'm not going to speak long like the English version. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys again. Thank you for watching. Hello, assalamu alaikum, baki julidi. Dikatina. Tainak. Malik di wasi hola, wai du mayag. Wah jimai wah fani yip. Lo la buga wah tuti rak. Dena si def video bu bah. Because limo rona wasi hangale yip. Limo rona wah yisi buri wah nakwasi hangale. Ta yen deng gen hangale yen yisi buri. Wai dena si def wala video bu bah fani yip. Inshallah. Because where we hit black history month la, for you young swing swing culture, young self dignity, young self worth, young you buy you what a deal swing swing harder you, to swing harder number one self dignity, more swing harder. What now? Cause you need video. So yeah, why tell me when you go ahead and look at this video? You don't want to see how funny. So look at this video. You don't want to see how funny. More. Go ne go go. I can't even find on. I don't know. I'm going to be on Facebook. Go ne go go. Don't do go ne go go go. Jigen go. What definitely could interview them? Baba, the interview no could them because Facebook Live. Fuck na them could interview. Come on, forget them. Them will like the video. Why go ne gurgi? Why na ne? Mom gurgi gengi fako 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 dorog. Fako just sangara munan sangara ay kasi sangara yuburi. But pare mu mu dorog ko mu mu use dorog behe. Dorog bunyi phone no. Mune mo ta kamuton limida. Ba wala ta munan gam tara ni kichi Facebook Live. Faithen, nak nikki bumi depan Facebook lain, on nikah yang wah tanak mum, mui wah tanak nikki dekat diri, wah hulu kau wah ikumande, nikki wah nak kau neko, wah hal wah ikambian, wah wah hal wah ikambian, macam dah nini setan macam negambian, ngah something like that, mui wah nangga dek something like that, mui wah some hal of that. Why, bini kau interview dia, mesti semua selawat interview om bi. Why mum? Fikir mana wah kene, lutah mai la faithen mui, mum wah nane. Ci video bundo nangam tane ni kiti video. Wah nane yau deh hamga view wasi beri yang hamni ni beri nyingi setan se video. Kau kau nak kau wah nala ni mana celebrity lah. Jisin community. Muda de 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 kaf de reda de wah tane kau kau dah de 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 kau nangam tane. Kau nak mau kau tay. Lita hamu deh video ni ni kau kam wah nanti beri nyingi video deh mune. Kifah kau deh hamu hamke. Wah wah nanti deg. Pas kita deg kenapa ya kenapa kau nang beri kei ni. Pas kita hamna beri video yang buat kau nene. Nikah kau dah mungkin call nikah ni nikah dia call nikah video kau nak. Tiada orang nak ni mana guru jigen lah mana kau. Mana kau nak ni mana mah me favour bi hecai favour ini bersedar mana kau. Mana kau kandang ni ni wah ne. Ia wara huna terdeng man ni ni nyubai hecai ni ni nyubai hecai lolen dia wah. Mana kau hecai mana mungkin nikah nak kau hecai nikah jauh mana hecai dem len nanggam senbok. Mungkin mana hecai dem len nanggam senbok. Kamu ni jaga kalau kamera video. Tanam mandi untuk dapat darah cipit lain je pun video boleh sah mogo juga ni. Video boleh dapat nak cipit video ibu makan wah hair hangal ni non. Wah buku macam ni nak kerja nama bimu. Nik mom, fana kedi wah tamir. Kenapa aku gol juga ni? Di video sebenarnya video. Muna kau buma gini sebenarnya video. 
kon nak motax bëgg mëna génné vidéo mbo xalxanam am waye day mo xamon na ni kan koy vidéo kon moy né mom fa doon def li ngir hur ngir hur kay waye ba tay bëgg ma génné xalxanam am bi rek ndig gune la ñaar fukki hat la am té kayit gi nit ni limuy def lo nit bari na kon nak suko defé ya paré di wax né xalxanam bi bëggul mu né ci vidéo bi ak diko wédé ka kaya kaya di wax ay wax dada hi ñu xam nañ ni kayit gi def mu tax mu def ko waye lim def fa jeggi day bop motax ma diko condem ndax sumako condem mu rom ñi ñepp ay jog diko def ngir keyit ndax ku ne xamna keyit bi tuuru xamul luñu jaralu tuba bi yeb xamnañ ko legi motax duñu nango joxe keyit lima buga wax yeb duma ko meuna wax ci vidéo bi lay kay sé dana def ano def vidéo bo xamné dana tok wax mbir keyit gi lutax warul ñoo jaral yenn yi inshallah dana ko def fatali len ma ci comment section bi tamen dana ko def sumako faté na ngeen ma fatali ku gis video bi ta nga xamne defa gisos mo video bu bima lay promise ni comment bi lo dana ko def parce que waxna lu beuri li mo wax li mo wara wax yeb ci hangale to bugu mako nek de repeat waye dana ko wax ci halof ano da fan benen benen we dana change yenen wax yeb ba pare na wax yenen ni tamit li mo wax ci hangale exactly waye yenen ni dana ko change ma def ko bo video halo bu guddu ma wax li tax ñun keyit ak bitim rew warul ñoo jaral yenn yi ma wax man suma experience ci keyit ak bitim rew suma experience ci seeko xane bugguma ko jos bi cosma bugga ñew bitim rew yeb dana ko wax ci xolof lay kay seer wax na ko ci hangale ba pare tama may son wax suma wore continuer yeb di wax waye rek dama len bugga wax ne gu ne goor gi so gisse mu def li yeb keyit ak taxone mu def ko ndeke fo bugga jël video bu ma jox ko immigration yi wax len ne man legi lima def ni motax suma de suñu wa dekk fañ ma bañ ñom ñepp ngi wax suma mbir fimne ñu ne suma deme fañ may ray lool la bugga wax pour ñu jox ko keyit waye li fa jeggi da yo lay kay set motax ma diko wax ta baxal le ma haq fil na baat pour di wax li buguma ngeen fok ne man may yakal ki keyit wala dara dede but this is beyond ki xamna ñu bari ño xamne li buñ ko condem mut ñom da lañ genn diko def waye suñ fim ne suñ xamé ne ñun genn nañ condem ko te genn nañ wax ne keyit tax ñu diko def da ngay gine ñeneen ñu genn bugu ko def duñ ko ñëmé def nak da lañ xamne ñun xamnañ ko ta immigration yi bala ñu la jox keyit fa ñi def sari sajj fa ñi ñew ci 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 internet bi youtube bi fu ne lañuy defé ri saaj té kon mën nañu gis vidéo bi xamné ah ki dé so gisé mu ñew facebook live def na ngam tan bi keyita tax mu def ko gisoo mbok kam sax ñu koy wax kenn waxu ne ku nek goor jigen rek wax né man dé ma nek goor jigen motax suma ñibé fañ may ray ku nek xam na né lo soko waxé tuba bi dañ la jox keyit ndax lo suñ dëkk bi nangul ko té lo dëgg la waye so waxé né ma ko def facebook live motax suma deme ñu rayma lool lay condem facebook lay bim ko def lay condem di bëgguma ñu continuer di ko def ndax lool fa jéggi day teub kon nak yeen ku ci bëgga jugga def facebook lay nangamante fok ne mom ngay use pour xam keyit lool duñ ko sétan gu ne yi ndaw yi ngay di jangal bon ak tiaga ak ñak jom ak nek xaj ñun duñ ko sétan keyit jarul lool su ngeen di nek goor jigen ngir hur keyit ida goor jigen ni de gentan ngeen di no wera wala ngeen di fenne goor jigen ngeen te duulen goor jigen wala ngeen di nek goor jigen de gentan yena koy jeuk keyit ku nek xame na ko nam ko xame way ñew facebook di nangam tan ngir hur keyit duñ ko setan keyit jaru yeb keyit xam nañu ko fi xam temiri hatta duñ xam dara kon nak keyit warta jar nga jaay sa dignity way lay ka set dina ci def video bu len ñew facebook di nangam tan ngir bugu keyit nit ñi duñ ko sétane nit ñi ngeen di yablu tax tuba bi ya xed yeb yeb ñu gis len ben xed buy nangam tan di facebook live jos bi ko nit ku ñu lañ warta tax ne dañ ne wara nek ay xaj ay nit lañ xam war nañu xam jombaté suñuy def lu ne pour keyitit way 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 na xam fu muy xem li rek la len bu ko wax ne keyit motax ki def li ñew na ci interview bi dem bi baba ja interview ko mu weddi ko man nak gawmako lim weddi gawmako xamna ni keyita tax mu def ko li nit ñi wax ni keyita tax mu def ko deug la keyit gi nak wis na ko lok su ko xamé su ko xamut warup ko jaral yenn yi xamna ño xane tuba yi fañ len di depot fi delo ji len te fañi ñëwaat bitim rew buñ ñëwaatu ci rew mañ len delo sax ñëw benen rew man gis na ko gis na ko ma xam ko ku lool dal kon nak keyit waru la jaral yenn yi so legi dina wax tuti ci sosé rek and then dina len gis benen yoon inshallah jere gen jep thank you ci video yi ngeen di sétane ya bu len faté di comment like share ta su ngeen bëggé sponsor suma video yi délén sétane suma ad yi please
And yeah, the Nalin Tip Bernay York. Thank you for watching. Hello, buddy, man, Nicole. Ali Salam Alekum. Himdilla, Barikal. Be do not like update Nati and Karia son care about Nim Kambano a la interview Nim Babaja. Ha! Ala. Alhamdulillah, subhanallah, astaghfirullah. You know, body mending cool. I'll be sitting down at astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. What's the word? Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. What's the word? I have Af African accent, you know. I always say astaghfirullah. But I don't think it's astaghfirullah. I think it's astaghfirullah. Doesn't matter. Just say it. I don't know what you want to say. You know? Bani Mandinko Nyen Kambano After all Aye Nyen Bekele Pur Aye Kaito Soto Hey Subhanallah Aliko Ala Kaito Kaito Baba Jaye Nyen Kambano Interview Le Mbe Pulela Just Little Break Of The Interview Baba Jaya interview me now. I don't ma 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 believe ko nying kewaya drug le mango believe. But may play like just a little bit about you know. Hello. Mbadi. Hello. Malo kumsela mi nimbare binyadi. Okay, uh, uh, okay, uh, new water ko muso do finditale, you can fight Zimbabwe transgender, then I land it alo dundi, and you fana I attend the ani ite lale. So, ilakwe mojama worry, and uh, we just want to know a bit about what happened exactly. Okay, um, uh, happened to Awolong on Friday at night, you know, I was traveling. Um, and then uh, later, my last train was so on Friday Saturday, or uh, three o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm coming for it. <laughs> so coming for that, yeah, after I'm missing the motor and loading after the station, but it was uh, cold and windy and raining too, you know. <laughs> so coming for that, yeah, I'm near. I'm not sure how to get around. I'm going to train on Friday, but six o'clock. But I'm going to okay. It's around on that side. I give you something to drink, and then you can wait for your train. Yeah, I'm coming for it. You can wait, huh? I'm going to be loud and clear. Okay, so Kavintara, um, I'll ask you know, when, you know, sometimes I drink also, you know, I'll have to be honest, yeah, okay. come, sometimes come in, you know? Thank you, thank you for being honest. Thank you for being honest. Yeah, so, uh, why not, you know, for, why not, you know, but bottle learning is not full, you know, it's used before. Mm. Okay, thank so you. So, you don't feel it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, for like, around, like, three cups, four cups, you know, I had a month on, a month on understand, you know? <laughs> yeah, <ne. laughs> so uh, and I find dinner for something like I sniff something also. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I sniff, le, but I, go in, I don't know. I never use those, you know. <laughs> so MBJ, MBJ, yeah, ne, so after that one you know, I mark them when comes and night, you know, from Kerala. But I know it can be, it can be happen because I see the videos, you know, on Facebook, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, what's up, what's up on that after I see that on that side after that friends will can text night, can call, can when you go. It ain't going to happen. After that, you can do Facebook, AJG, you know. So on the Facebook I'm not gonna film a picture so I'm not video so you know. Okay. Okay, so uh okay, so uh Nina understand Abu Koden Ivan Transitional Duado Sumia Bela Bela Ba Abu Atreno Baduga so in transgender Musonati approach at Nila Kunangataya, then go Sumia Bela then and the Sofa no Kuda Yela ya so Briela Aya then uh, at the end of the day I I why not I abundant because what do you can why no mini so bri I why no dealer but why no ying I yell it already so bri wa why no ying yeleta ya ming then uh then itela Mirador, then why not? Maybe I drop all that. I can't get away to the show in a cook and we are long. I'm a real eyes. I'm I have uh, affairs with you, but it 
Okay, so if I understand that, okay, so if I, if I understand Yan then because you insult, that's why he was upset and then he just went and put effort on the internet. Exactly, because she have nothing else to do, you know. Okay. So she, she just want to destroy my life, you know. And <laughs> I heard that this is, he, she, she do, he do it to the one Nigerian guy also. You know, I never know, you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just to let you know, it's not only a Nigerian girl. I was uh, talking to another uh, lady from Zimbabwe. She told me that she did it to a Zimbabwean guy, and then he's also a fraud. He, uh, she, uh, he is, uh, he is also telling uh, people that he can give you a visa. He is scamming people. So all these stuff are happening. That's why I bring them away. Mang have a mang have a have ye because we are number one research. Because um ah, then you should go do the am. The should go do ni attendi. Then tell go attendi tell another. Kulun kilo ni attendi bankwela. We attendi um tell us. So we are then tell Amira. Maybe you find that you kulun go for no science and we find maybe Africa. Then we will Mira. Yajel. Yajel. So. Why? 
it's not just because of kevu dating oh nyeng is beyond kevu dating oh i don't care hani na tar ani musole be nyoko dela nom online ntonte aw jube la ntola community be na nyoko dela online on the facebook live just because of kaito hani tu ba bol mu min yalla mul ka mi rolko wol ka fe ngo fenke lay laftam min na ntemant ba bol jey kan nyoko dek online just because of kaito or whatever ni tu ba bol laftam nyoko dek online ikata do ko woke yita porn star do ko woke mol min laftam nyoko dey jube la wol yita jey yeji ko do jo yey nyoko dey jube not yena nyoko dek online di ngol ba jube la di be di ngol ti nyaala ibe just some community be ti nyaala nyoko dek wola what the hell man ni kambano you know alinga bula ka risk it all for a basket just because of kaito nyin kamba no say hani nay kaito soto ala dignity be tiñala ala life be tiñala na man na man ta ala ya mbe advice la ni nyim video moy ni aje ta eta ala ya ye always afo astaghfirullah ibe silin da wada afo astaghfirullah 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 all day ila kuruso nyini ya muta ta eta jannaf sali ta eta all the time ye sit down ya fo astaghfirullah ye sali ye tube alay ya fo alay tu balal ye nyim min ke ya fo alay ye balal fana ye kayto soto bari alon ko kayto hani muni mo ye deport from jang hani sa ni ala koy benal tu babu du kota ke ikan nale nga molo ne mi yalla mo ye deport fam mo na tak ko ka burun tu babu du kota ke hani ni ma muruwa banko ka ika murum banko do kota dol bi jang sanji kebe imam pingo feng soto tu babu du manke fenti i swear to god ntinga min long ni ngalo nun tenala jang ngafo atulie all the time kana tu babu du do sin min de ibe ko do soto la foy ta do ko jawol ke pour ya ko do soto ntol jama na de jam man karam ba ke gambe mam metti bete ma soto ko du do mo ningon kam min soto ngatale ngata nga ki gambia ha muka feng soto foy ta ku ku dol wafi wala ta ku dol ke ima nyen na min kala just because of ko do ya risk it all for a basket mo se soron no isi sa sa soto no je ila dignity and self love is gone you are risking it all for a basket Please, kambano to la dinu ngon to la kambano. I cannot watch this any any longer. Allah stop carrying it all for a basket. Allah la self dignity ni self worth long. I know to la community buka wo karandin to la. Waliat nan to la tan. To mo fi mo tu. To la community buka to karandi self dignity self love. It's to do with nyin din jamal to la community kamin soto. And in to la ke wol most of them the il a love for muso and in tola musul they don't have time in tola ba mal jama kan to protect and love us itol jama kata marsiwto wala kata foroko wala kata do ko ke ka ko do nyini kana tabiro la fanan kana kuro la so ika batali they don't have time to to murder you and nurture you and spend time with you i do it as a young person to la community jama until we go through a lot of abuse liparu jama child marriage all the things and all this can make you lose your self dignity and self worth you're not going to know who you are and your self worth anymore we are tin and told we always risk it all for a basket i know this i know to la community la problem but don't you think it's time for to learn how to gain our self worth how to gain our self dignity how to know how to limit what we are doing and when to stop don't you think it's time to leave okara Nintol ma karan juma le ba karan de lantol for how long are we going to continue risking it all for a basket the whole world laughing at us kaito man jari abela biko kaito hani ni asoto is not guarantee ite be kodo sola tu babudu kodo mi yena ta jango kodo jama ama guarantee ba asoto la jani ba asoto la ibi du kula fo yefa ni la ta asoto la correct way wota kaito aman jari wala ma fa ko mol ka bu la kata mo you know kanim mol ka dum mi yalla ma kanu warante stop just because of ko ma fa mol yow bu la because wo is in our community already from childhood mo be ke won dilal mi yalla ima kanu fang so we don't know who we are but ka risk it all for a basket don't you think it's time for to yow bu la until until we stop risking it all for a basket we will never develop a community that don't don't have self dignity don't have self worth don't have self love ah huh? will never develop nyim mol to la ta minu police la ka ko to la ta ko do mis to la pour mol yen to respect nyim mol ne ten to respect la ni hadama di mo me respect hani ni ko do soto ati respect la 
It is ye fan respect, ye fan kano, ye fan lang, ye fan protect. Ye need your respect, ye kan, ye appreciate. Ye learn how to have self love within it. Ni atra ye ala lon ne fanang, tra ye ala long more. Wole be makwela. A be pure happiness dilela and impure self love and self dignity. Bari kudu, a buka happiness dilela. Mo jamal le fata because of kudu ye min soto. Mo be nala ye rob. More benala ye you know ye far because of moto warante corda warante everything ila badi mo fanang kaka kaka kile all the time because of ila fansun kodo alia lo ne kodo kam kaka mo bata niya lehin alia lo alba fang kila mo di it's very painful kanto la community jubeta please man la fini video too long. Because I already been speaking, you know, in English and all of and everything and everything just. This is why I'm, I I don't like to do all the languages in one video because then it's gonna take me all day to explain things. But look, into bukataraka diya mo na community for nothing. It's because of the pain to the community yemi ken tole. That's why we cannot stop about it. We cannot stop about it. But please. We also not talking just put alia just lamoy alia just ni pass and talk alo and that's finished. No, it's also because the love we have for you guys, we don't want to watch you guys suffer, continue suffering. And us all, please, alinga longko. As we grow older, even though our community let us down, they don't teach us self love, self dignity, self worth. We can learn it and regain ourselves. Atol be nal be dolo use kan. Ka drug use. Ala bula alial fanke muti. You can get out of anything. If you want to get out of it. Ala bula. Ka da wrong friends soto. Ala bula ka hang out with the wrong people. I say this all this time that I start talking. Four years I've been saying this. Ala bula ka try all the wrong thing in life. Calling it I'm just having fun or to babu do is stress. Need to be able to do stress. You have choices to, to, to make. There's so many different things to make you happy. Go for a walk. Read a book. Listen to some videos that you can learn something from. You have other alternatives that is healthy. Than using jump bridge alcohol and drugs for, 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 for pleasure. And hang out with the wrong people. It's going to bring you more pain. I'm telling you that. The quicker you quit, the better. The more you do it, the more pain you have to, you have to, you know, the, the more pain you're creating. They have big consequences. So, quit all of these things. A funky mood. A long mune ye nati tu babu du yam. I told you are too young for this. Wasting your life for nothing. Why would you do this? After I'll struggle to back way, front way, aliena futa jam. Aliena alia risk it all for a biscuit. Alia betinya ka hang out with the wrong people. Ka all the wrong thing ke. Please, Alal Fanke Mood. I know life is difficult and this year is even harder because of Corona or whatever. But Alal Fanke Mood, Ali Alamuta, Ali Sali, Ali Pray, Ali Stay Clean, Stay from Trouble. Ala Benala in Sala, Ali Stay Strong. Ali Fata Nyin Ku Jawoli, Ali Stay Strong. Please, Nte Patata Diamola. Ala Benala, Nali Ya Belief. But in Nalma Ala Belief, Ali Amir Atole Mu Alfonso Alati. I told be our life dinola alfamoye. I'll tell life dinola alfamoye. I'll draw nebe life dinola atole. After you try, it is up to Allah pur aye happen. So, don't try it with all the wrong things. Allah si kamfano itelafang aye jubi. After we keep trying with doing all the wrong things, don't you think that we have a limit now? We should stop now and sit back and leave it with Allah now and try to do the right thing. How many wrong things can we do, you know, just to get one thing that we might not even ever get, or when we get it, we will not benefit from it? It's too late then. Please. I know Kaito more kind of live all kind of way. I don't tell Fango Yasa to live all kind of way. I know. Ni alako ibastola ibastola. Ni alako itasotola nyin country wala itasotola sign. Even if you risk it all for a biscuit, itasotola. So nyin Facebook live sex for Kaito. Alinga konde momo kana funti ka nyin ke kotake. Alala dignity claim alial fan long. Mol meta ka for tubabo ye kontemu ke wudeleti. So wol ye kaito dilela. Either you are ke wude or whatever. 
But can I Facebook ke wude nyoko de ke or just sex in general? Please. Alingan to la self dignity long. Nga, nga sort of boundaries in life. Life no one is perfect. We all had the wrong friends and did the wrong things. But know when to stop. Know even how to protect yourself from doing it. So, this is just what I wanted to say today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share, comment, like, subscribe to the channel for more videos. And bye, Jela, inshallah, next time. Ali nyin kambano ite fango nibe nyin video jela. Nye nyin video jela. Kana stress about this. Kana take this 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 thing too too stress that you go you know that is gonna harm you. It already happened. You are stressed or not, it already happened. You are dead or alive, it already happened. You cannot change nothing. What you can do now though is to prove to the community who you are by changing. All nyin thing I mean for you, okay. Stay away from bad things. Stay good. Pray to Allah. Be good. Be determined to be good. Allah bay you har ye natila. Ite you are young and you are in yatale, you are handsome and young, mashallah. Allah be had ye natila. Tae ta ye dua ala ye mako. Ibama fana a dua ya fai aye mako ya embarras minna ya put in sim ya mon niyami. A fai aye mako aye balali aye dua. Yes, stay good. Allah be nala. It's only Allah mimba had ye dilan tole. Allah drum. Mudul nata jang day one ye kaito soto. But it's time to come in later. They still halake. Warante yena kud kudo ke imanya na minkela yena stay prison for 10 years. Warante ala yena ye ye wandi niyo tafang. Hanini kaito bebulu. So nyin kaito is not worth anything. It's not worth certain things. Certain big things. So please. Don't take it too serious like I said. It already happened. Don't allow this to ruin you. You can change it to something positive. And prove to yourself that you can do this. After you ye bagwe ta ye naja, ye aje bagwe di mita nyame. Tu babu do di mita le bagwe o front way. So stay patient, stay loyal, stay good. Can I just because tu babu do di mita ye weak ye ta certain things ke? It is if when you are strong to to make it in the bagwe, then you should be stronger than this. Please, I wish you all the best, and I wish everybody else all the best. But yeah. I just pray that Ning is not going to continue happening. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye, Jalakotake, inshallah. Take care. Bye. See you again soon.